On this episode of Cash Canada, we're going to be exploring Cash Tour and Adventure Labs based on information that we have discovered with Dougie B on Cash Canada Chats. On our last episode, we discovered how to load up Adventure Lab locations using Lab to GPX. So what we're going to do is to load up some labs right here in Kelowna, put them all together in a tour, and then add select uh, geocaches to that list and see how it works out. So while you join us, come along and see what we do and how it all works out. This cash tour could take about 12 hours, but... We're stopping to appreciate beautiful gardens like this. Yep. So it could take us quite a bit longer to complete. Next up, we're going to visit Ogopogo, the sea monster at Okanagan Lake. Ooh, the sea monster. What do you think? Is Ogopogo real? Hmm, let us know in, in the, the comments, comments below. below. So throughout our cash tour adventure of the Adventure Labs, we've been using the app and we've been watching our progress through and it'll tell you how far ahead you are, how far behind you are. And so the location we're at right now, I click on it and I say that I've arrived. And then uh, as I'm finished, then I just click uh, departed and it'll direct me to the next uh, location on our cash tour, which in this case is a mole.
We've abandoned the Cash Tour app at the moment just because we found out it was taking us to places that were linear but that were out of order. Yeah, so we ended up driving six kilometers, but we weren't at the starting cache. Yeah, so we've kind of like, we're not sure if we've done something wrong or we like didn't no do something that we were supposed to. So we'll have to talk to Dougie B about that. Mm -hmm. We've completed five adventure lands, mm -hmm. and now we're on our six at lesser known beaches of beaches, beaches of Cologne. What did I say? Beaches. Beaches? <laughs> lesser known beaches of, of Kelowna. So, so we're going to go check, try this one out, and dip our toes in. Seeing as we're here, it's hot, and we're ready for a swim. last stage to the lesser known beaches adventure lab is a bit of a surprise most of them have been kind of parking grabs but this one is definitely not a parking grab because you've got to walk quite a distance to it and down 90 meters and about a 1500 meters to get there so it's uh, and the view I mean wow that's pretty cool well worth coming here just for that So <laughs> she pulls up on the geocaching map. She says, yeah, there's a cache here. And, uh, and then thinks better of it, and I agree with her. It's a 2-4, and there's a little bit of climbing involved down there by the water's edge. Not today. <laughs> Let's get that adventure lab. She's counting the number of steps on the stairs here and then we'll be done this adventure lab at this beautiful secret beach. We learned from Dougie B that we had made a very simple mistake. Once we put all the lab caches and all their locations into Cache Tour, we forgot to reorder those that were in linear order placing them the first location first, the second, second, and so forth. So we'll be better armed for the next uh, go round, and we'll try to do that again and bring it to you here on Cache Canada. Thanks for watching this video, little tour of Kelowna, British Columbia. Stay tuned for more geocaching in British Columbia coming up. Where will geocaching take you? Up next, up next we're gonna visit up next, we're going to visit Ogopogo, the, the monster in 